Hi everybody, welcome to the Pregnancy Yoga. This is our second class and remember that you can uh, do it every week or you can do it every day. You can do day one, day two, going for day three and four and every day you have this little routine just for yourself. So let's start. So let's keep going with the breathing, okay? So we are gonna spend, we're not gonna spend too much time in that. We're just gonna kind of add in more things. So we move our hands onto the tummy, close your eyes, feel the air come in and out through your nose, relax your shoulders. We're gonna do the three breaths we practiced the last time. So we inhale through the nose, exhale as we blow. We're gonna inhale for four and exhale for four. We're gonna go a little bit slower. So take a deep breath to prepare. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Blow, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. And blow, two, three, and in, two, three, four, and blow, two, three, four. Now we're going to inhale and exhale as we fog. So it's different. One, the mouth is doing like a oo, and the other one is making the J sound, okay? So ready? So we go. Inhale through your nose. Exhale to your mouth. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and four, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and in, two, three, Four, exhale, two, three, four. That's your normal breathing. Now we're gonna go the other one. Inhale and exhale through your nose with the sensation of fogging a glass. Fogging a, a glass. So that is the Ujjayi breath, okay? So let's go. So just to control the air soft, and just to control the speed on the mouth to make it longer. Ready? Take a deep breath for nothing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale to your nose, three, four. And in, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. And in, two, three, four. And out, two, Three, four. Back to your normal breathing. And remember, we have three different breaths that we can use it. So let's start, everybody. So we move our arms onto the side, palms facing up. Inhale, arms up to the diamond position. Palms move down, turn down, and exhale, move the arms back. The starting point. Move your palms facing up, inhale up. Move your palms down and exhale. Inhale, palms up. And exhale, palms down. Move your arms to the front. Cross the right arm under the left and we try to move our hands as close as we can. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for the three. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Release. Move your arms up. Push your arms backwards. Pulse facing forward. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Now we go left arm cross under the right, cross your elbows, 
Your hands can go as far as you can. Okay, you, they go all the way fine. But you need to keep your elbows crossed. And we hold. Inhale deep. Remember the sensation expanding your lungs backwards as we learned in the first lesson. And keep going in here. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. And just one more. Release. Arms up, palms facing forward. Take a breath. Now push me your elbows backwards. Bend the elbows. Take a breath. Well done. Now we're going to lie down on the side of our body. So move your um, cushion, see if you have it. And here we're going to lie down on the side. You can still put your cushion if you feel comfy. And we're just going to relax here. Make sure that your head is resting on you. Um, hand. If you need another pillow on there, it's okay. We're going to move the knees just in front of your hips. We're going to keep the legs bent and you can keep your hand on the front of your belly or your front of your chest or you just beside your legs. And we just go inhale to prepare. Exhale, we open the knees but we keep the big the feet together. And inhale, close. And we go. Open and close. Let's go for eight and close. Let's go seven, close. Let's go six and close. Let's go five, close. Four, close. Three, close. Two, close. And just one more and close. And we're going to extend the leg and we're going to flex the foot. We go 10 and pause. 9. Keep your leg straight. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One. Now we're going to inhale and exhale, kick forward, flex your foot as far as you feel comfy, and inhale back. And we just go, exhale, and inhale. Let's go, eight, and back, seven, and back, six, and back, five, and back. Four, back, three, back, two, back, and one more, and back. Very good. Bend your leg, and slowly we're going to push us ourselves to the sitting pose. Cross your legs, and we're going to stretch towards to the legs to curve the spine. If you cannot release your arm, you keep your hands on the floor. If you, it's possible for you, lift the arm and we just reach as far as you can go without forcing. Four breaths. Inhale, palm facing down. Inhale for three. Exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. And we release. We swing the legs to the other side, and let's go the same on your left side. So lie down, make sure that your head is resting on your head. Bend the knees, knee align with your hips, your hand can be at the front, beside you. Inhale, and exhale, open, and close. And open, inhale, close. And we keep going, and close. Let's go seven, close, six, close, five, no, don't force. Remember, we go as far as we don't, as we normally do. <laughs> we go less than we normally go. <laughs> Let's go for two, and just one more. 
these yoga classes helped me as well to practice my English. So thank you so much for your understanding. So from here we extend the leg. We can have the support of the hand and we just flex and point. Let's go nine. Let's go eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and last one. Now we go inhale, exhale. We kick as we flex the foot. Inhale back. And let's go for nine and back. For eight, backward. Seven, backward. Six, back, five, and back. If you don't engage, don't forget your breath. Always deep and long. Let's go three. Let's go two. And one more. Bend your leg, push your body up. Then we're just gonna stretch toes to the legs, lift your arm, and we just reach. We hold it here for four, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two, and exhale, and just one more, and exhale. We release, we back onto all fours. So from all fours, remember, your index fingers pointing forward. We come on to all fours, and we're just going to extend right leg, then left leg, push onto downward dog. If you feel it's too much for you, the downward dog, you can bend the knees, or you can just go a couple of breaths. We hold four breaths, trying to extend at the maximum our back, our arms. Let's go for three, two, and one more. Well done. Release. Drop your knees on the ground. Open your knees wider and you keep your big toes together. We sit down. Child pose. We know these poses. So I'm going to try to make sure that you have like a little routine that you can do it with the same poses. This is going to help us to stretch the strength as well because you need a strength in your core and more in your pelvic floor muscles. So from here, keep one fist on the top of the other one, and we just hold here for deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And one more. And exhale. Back on to all fours. And from here, we're just gonna inhale and exhale. We're gonna lift the right arm and we're gonna twist as far as we feel comfy. And inhale, drop. Exhale, other side. Open your chest. And inhale, drop. And we keep going. Exhale, twist and lift the arm. Inhale, down. Let's go left, keep your tummy engaged, and back. Let's go right. Remember, you need to go less than your normal stretch. And then left, and out. Use your breath. Exhale as you twist and lift. Inhale as you go down. Again, up. And down. And up. And down. Let's go to the left. Down. And up. And down. And left. Down. Let's go one more in each side. Right. And down, feel the strong in your arms, left, 
and down, sit backwards, cross your, um, bend your elbows, move your hands together, bend your elbows, and we just move the hands behind the head if it's possible, or as far as you can go. And we hold here, four deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three. Two and just one more. Release, move back onto all fours, curl the toes under, lift your knees, move on to downward dog. We can bend the knees to concentrate in a straight and stretch our back. Inhale deep and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now walk with your hands towards to your feet and your feet towards to your hands until you move your heels on the ground. Open your legs wider than your hips. Keep your legs bent. Inhale and exhale. We roll up all the way up. And here, roll your shoulders backwards. Take a deep breath. Now keeping our legs bent, we're going to inhale. And exhale, bending the legs, hands on our knees or our thighs just in front. And we're just going to curve our back. Inhale deep. Exhale. Inhale deep. Exhale. Slowly roll up and roll your shoulders backwards. So in the forward bend, you can just go here, halfway, curving your spine. That's important. Or you can go all the way. Okay? Bending your knees. We don't force and remember we need to go less than our normal stretch. So let's go all the way up. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. We can just go halfway or we can go all the way. Remember this blood coming into our head. So we need to have a deep breath. Inhale deep. Exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Inhale and exhale, roll up the spine. That's good. Remember that you can just go halfway, curving your spine. Good, everybody. Release. Shake me your legs. Now open your legs a little bit wider than your hips and toes pointing away. We're going to try to squat, okay? So we go. And if you tummy engage, and if you really push the ground with your feet, feet to help you to engage the leg muscles to activate your pelvic floor muscles. So we go. Inhale. We squat as far as we can go. And push up. Some of you can go all the way down. You are used to, to this position. Go all the way down if you prefer. For some of us, we just wanted to strengthen our belly floor muscles and our legs and have flexibility as well. So we go, inhale, exhale, we squat as far as you feel comfy. Take a deep breath, inhale, you can go all the way, hold here, inhale, exhale, inhale, push the ground and we raise our torso. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, Exhale, maybe I can just squat here, it's fine. Some of you can go all the way down, it's good as well. Take a breath wherever you are, inhale, make sure your heels always stay on the ground. Inhale and exhale, push the ground and come up. Great everybody, just one more. Inhale, exhale, maybe just here, we take a breath. Inhale, exhale, push the ground. And move up. That's good. Now we hold the wall, we bend the right foot, and we catch our foot to stretch the thigh. In case that you cannot hold your foot, you can take a belt or a towel to help you to catch the foot. And push gently your hips forward to stretch your thigh. We hold four deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two, and just one more. Drop your foot, turn around, half the wall, bend the leg, catch your foot, press your hips forward, four breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, two, 
two. And just one more. And we release, open our legs wider, a squat, and we lean forward. Take a breath, inhale, keeping your legs bent if you need to. You can extend the legs if you're used to do this exercise, but if not, just bend the knees and we focus more in our back. Now lift the chest, move your hands forward, step backward, right and left. Well done, everybody. Sit back. Move your arms up, palms together. Bend your elbows, move your hands behind. Take a breath. Inhale. Open your chest. Exhale. We release and we are going to just sit down. Remember that the most important is not that we do like a one class long every week. No, the thing is that every day we did something. So it will be more beneficial for us. So that way the class is short so you can repeat tomorrow and then the day after until you feel like a, you will get bored, go to the next class. Or you can go one, two, three, four and repeat one, two, three, four. So from here everybody, we're just gonna rest, hands on your tummy, completely relax, close your eyes, you can sit down on a chair, Relax your shoulders, inhale deep, exhale any way you prefer. Again, inhale, and exhale. Relax your shoulders, relax your chest, relax your face, your head. Relax your back, your hips, relax your legs, your feet, and feel how your back is expanding backward as you inhale. You try to feel a sensation that we let the lungs expand back. So instead of concentrating our abdominal breathing, let's concentrate our upper back. And then we have more room for the lungs to expand. We'll be back to our visualization. We visualize the right energy around your body, around your cell, like a magnetic field. And this wide energy, this magnetic field is protecting you and your baby. It's full of harmony, ease, love, strength, health. And we say for our baby, we are safe. We are together, we are in peace and health. And you can stay here as long as you want, listen to breathing, relax. And remember that there will be thoughts in your mind, fears, worries, that's okay, just a couple of breaths, visualize the wide magnetic field full of energy, positive energy, healthy energy, repeat your mantra, we are safe. Slowly everybody open your eyes. And we move the hands together. Inhale as we raise the arms. Exhale through your mouth as we drop the hands. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's back for a position. And we say, 
Namaste. Thank you for joining us. Let us know if you have any questions. Leave your comments below. And we see you in the next one.